You've already been in the season where it seems like it's never enough. And you know what it feels like to be in the season where it's just enough. But now you're stepping into the season of more, more, more than enough. Yes, yes, yes. This is a season where you really get blessed. This is a season not only where you get blessed, but where God makes you a blessing. You got to have more than what you need in order to bless somebody else. It's time now to step into that season of more than enough. I'm just telling you, this is a brand new season in your life now. More than enough, more than enough. Somebody shout more than enough. That's who El Shaddai is. He's the God who is more, more, more than enough, more than enough, more than enough. You've been in barely get along street and struggling and living from hand to mouth long enough. We're getting ready to have a funeral right now for the lack that's been in your life. You've been underemployed, undercompensated. You've been struggling and dealing with some stuff, but I'm just here to tell you, it is your season, it is your time now. Listen, God is setting before you an open door and opportunities, listen, listen, as God sets up the timing for you, I'm just here to declare to you prophetically today that this is another season. You're stepping into another corridor. This is another dimension of your life that, that, that you will not deal with the issues that you've dealt with in the past. We are shutting the door on all of that stuff that aggravated you. Untie God's hands in your life. How dare we limit the Holy One of Israel? Is anything too hard for God? God wants to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think, and it is according to the power that works on the inside of you. There's some greater things that God is calling you for, greater visions, greater dreams. You've been thinking too lowly. You've been setting your sights on things that are too simple. You've been distracted by the gnats of life, swatting at gnats and almost about to kill yourself on this life being aggravated by pettiness. Set your vision on other things. Lift up your heads so your gates and be you lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. I declare to you today that you are in a season of greater, 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 greater. You're stepping into some of the best days of your life. I want you to get your expectancy turned up because God will meet you at the point of the expectation of your faith. You're coming into greater places of blessing, greater places of provision, greater places of anointing, greater places of appointment by God, greater relationships that God brings into your life, greater friendships, greater connections, greater things that God has divinely set up for you to strategically meet the right people at the right time to take you to the next level. You are in your season of greater. Greater begins now. 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 Now, 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 now. Even now, come Lord Jesus, now. I feel a shift in this place today. Yes, shift. He's in the building right now. He's in the building. He confirms his word with signs and wonders. He even confirms it with his presence. If you believe it, slip a hand up toward God. Say, Lord, be it unto me even according to your word. That I receive your word. I receive it. And I believe it. And so it is. I receive it. I believe it. And so it is. I receive it. I believe it. And so it is. A thing decreed shall be established, says the Lord. So is it in your life. So is it in your life. So is it in your life. You've stepped into the new season now. You've stepped into the new season. Don't be alarmed by the things that's trying to rain on your parade. 
because rain signals a new season. You go through some rain when the seasons are shifted. And the devil has messed with you long enough. He's aggravated you long enough. He's robbed you long enough. He has lied to you long enough. May the truth of God's Word set you free in dimensions like you have never known it and seen it all of the days of your life. You're getting ready to step into a dimension of your purpose like you've never known it all of the days of your life. I'm celebrated. I'm excited about what God has already in store for you. I'm excited about things that I already see on the periphery that's awaiting you, that's awaiting for you, that's awaiting you. Vision is proof positive that it already awaits you. It already awaits you. It already awaits you. I'm glad about what he's doing. I'm glad about who God sees you to be. I'm glad about the gifts and the talents and the deposits that he's already made in your life. The ministry that is locked in your bosom that God is ready to release. Just as you trust him and obey, trust him and obey, trust him and obey that God will release some things out of you that have been frustrating you because you've been wondering, Lord, when is my time coming? How am I going to get this thing out of me? And you've got creativity. I'm seeing creativity that has been lying there where you've not even known what to do with it. And God's getting ready to make all of the pieces of the puzzle make sense to you. And, and all of a sudden, strategy will come to your mind and you'll know where this belongs and that belongs and the other thing belongs. And God is going to put some of these things that have been broken in your life May I just tell you that you can take broken things, but as long as all of the broken pieces are brought together, God will, is the master potter, the master builder. And I'm telling you, he's going to put some things back together from broken hearts and broken dreams and shattered visions. God's got all of the shards and all of the different parts, and he's going to make a masterpiece of art out of your life. I'm just telling you, because Elohim, creator God, we are made in his image. And God's going to show you how to take broken things, leftover things, fragments from the ship broken relationships and he's going to float you to a place and bring you and feed you on a brand new different level like you have never seen before i'm just here to announce to you the storm is over and the clouds are moving back and there's a sunshine that is rising over your life right now that is the signal of the dawn of a new day because many of you have been in a midnight crisis and a long, long night that has been a nightmare all of your life with depressing news and things that have broken your spirit and messed you up. But I'm just here to tell you, there's a dawn of a new day that is on the horizon for your life. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And in this day, in this day, we're going to rejoice and be exceedingly glad because greater, 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 greater comes to your house today. Greater comes to your house today. Greater in understanding, greater in vision, greater in perspective comes to your house today. Today, 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 in the name of Jesus. May he root out the offense in your life. May he root out the bitterness that's been there. May he root out the hurt that has been there. Because greater, 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 whenever God roots one thing out, is only because he's got something better to put in its place. He'll never take something away without replacing it with something better. If he takes out of you a heart of stone, he's going to give you a heart of flesh. And this time you're going to be able to feel. And your heart won't be broken the way that it's been broken in the past. And he'll teach you this time to be able to guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it come the issues of your life. And there would be new strength that's going to come out of you. And you'll be able to minister to others out of the broken places that you've been broken in your own life. And out of the very places of where you've seen God redeem you and forgive you, you'll be able to bring his grace and redemption to the lives of others. And your life is going to become a watering brook. To where you realize that this thing was really not about you anyway. This thing was about something that God wanted to get through you. And he trusted you with trouble to mature you and to teach you to trust him so you'd know how to minister grace to other people. I'm glad you came to the house of the Lord today. Somebody's already gotten their word from God today. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus, the Christ. We bless him. 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 As you return to your seat, just thank God. Say, Lord, be it unto me according to your word. Lord, be it unto me according to your word. Be it unto me, O God, according to your word, to your word, to your word, according to your word, God. According to your word, according to your word. 
according to your word. Thank God for the power of the word. Thank God for the power of the word of God. Hallelujah to Jesus.